प्रभात द्विवेदी एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्टेप एच पी टी आई कानपुर इंडिया टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू टी टेस्ट फॉर टू सैम्पल इन माई लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट टी टेस्ट वॉज डेवलप्ड बाई विलियम सीली गॉस है एंड ही पब्लिज इट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एज हिज सीडो नाइन स्टूडेंट सो इट वॉज ऑल्सो नोन एज स्टूडेंट टी टेस्ट लेट्स ही वॉट वॉट आर द एजम्पन्स फॉर टी टेस्ट टू बी एप्लीकेबल and here you can see in comparison with jet test as well so the sample size should be less than 30 in case of t test to be applicable here are two samples so there should be less than 30 whereas in case of jet there should be the 30 or more than that population standard deviation is unknown in case of t statistic whereas in case of jet statistic population standard deviation is known the following two conditions should be met in both the cases like population should be normally distributed and data points should be independent along with sample should be randomly selected now this is what the assumptions are for t test to be applicable now let's see what the uh, statistic or t test for two samples or independent samples does it in fact compares the mean of one sample with the mean of another independent sample now uh, this this two sample or independent sample t test uh, is used we can see here for two samples of size n1 and n2 which are drawn from two normal populations with unknown means and unknown standard deviations this is what this t test is applicable for and if you compare this t test for two sample with z test for two sample they are quite similar first let's see what the t statistic is then we'll compare with both these statistics here t statistic is shown as x1 bar minus x2 bar Minus mu one minus mu two upon root s one square upon n one plus s two square upon n two. So x one minus x two are difference of sample means, whereas mu one minus mu two is difference of population means. S one is sample is s one s two are sample standard deviations, whereas n one n two are sample sizes. This is what the uh, t statistic is. Now here we can compare both these statistic. and in comparison we can find that both statistics are quite similar just with one difference that is s1 square s2 square whereas in case of z sigma 1 square sigma 2 square that means t statistic is applicable when sample standard deviations are there population standard deviations are unknown whereas z statistic is applicable when sigma 1 and sigma 2 that means population standard deviations are known and just this is the difference rest you can have a look viewers t and z statistics are absolutely same now what null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis are in case of t statistic for two samples null hypothesis is like there is no difference between two population means whereas alternative hypothesis is that two population means are not same when we say they are not same they may be either great one sample mean may be either greater than um, another sample mean or smaller than another sample mean or we can simply say that they are not equal so here we can see that if you express it mathematically in equation form so null hypothesis is uh, mu1 is equal to mu2 whereas alternative hypothesis has three choices that is mu1 is not equal to mu2 mu1 is greater than mu2 mu1 is lesser than mu2 so uh, this will depend uh, on your problem uh, which would be the alternative hypothesis actually out of these three choices so let's see an example uh, uh, an electric company wants to compare 
the life spans of two types of electric bulbs. So it takes out one sample of nine A type bulbs and another sample of seven B type bulbs. This is N1, N2, nine, seven. The mean life of A type bulbs are found to be 1074 hours with the standard deviation of 36 hours. That means uh, uh, 1074 hours mean life of bulb A type, that means X1 bar. And standard deviation that is S1 36 hours. Whereas the mean life of B type bulbs was found to be 1036 hours, this is X2 bar, with a standard deviation of 40 hours, that is S2. The CEO of the company thinks that A type bulb is superior to B type bulb. That means mu1 is greater than mu2. This is alternative hypothesis which we have to test is the null hypothesis of equality of uh, mean life of two bulbs. Test the assumption of CEO regarding the life span of the bulb at 5% level of significance. So now let's see um, uh, how this problem will be worked out, worked out uh, on, on those five steps of hypothesis testing. Step one of hypothesis says state null and alternative hypothesis so in this case null hypothesis will be that there is no difference between the mean lives of the two types of bulbs that is mu1 equal to mu2 this is what the null hypothesis sorry this is what the null hypothesis is mu1 equal to mu2 whereas Alternative hypothesis is what? In which CO assumes that type 1 bulb's life, mean life is greater than type 2 uh, bulbs. So that is mu1 is greater than mu2. Level of significance is given, that is 5%. Critical value we can calculate uh, and see in the table and not calculate in fact. So here N1 is 9, N2 is 7, both samples are uh, size are below 30. Alternative hypothesis is with the greater than sign that means it is right tail test. Hence the critical value we can see in the table uh, that is found to be 1.761 at alpha that is level of significance 0, point, point 0 0.05 that means 5% with degree of freedom 14. Degree of freedom is what? It is actually N1 plus n2 minus 2 n1 plus n2 minus 2 is degree of freedom so n1 is 9 n2 is 7 9 plus 7 14 minus 2 is uh, 9 plus 7 16 minus 2 is 14 so now let's see how we check the t value critical value of t in the next uh, table which is shown over here so here we see uh, uh, in, in column we find this is you know degree of freedom so at 14 we check and this is you know one tail test since it is one tail test so the, at, at one tail test we can check level of significance that is 0 0.05 so in the intersection of both degree of freedom and level of significance we see the value is 1.05 seven six one this is what the value is now this value critical value of t will be compared with calculated value of t now let's see in the step four how we will compute the t statistic so given values are x1 bar that is 1074 x2 bar these are sample means that is 1036 in the problem First sample standard deviation was 36, second sample standard deviation was 40, first sample size was 9, second sample size was 7, null hypothesis was mu1 minus mu2 equal to 0. So in T statistic we put these values here, this is the T statistic, this mu1 minus mu2 will become 0 under H0. 
rest we can see uh, by putting these values we find the calculated value of t is 1.86 now in step 4 for making decision and conclusion we compare calculated value of t with the critical value of t and here we find that calculated value of t which is 1.86 is greater than the critical value of t that is 1.761 hence we see uh, we write the decision as since the critical value of t is greater than the uh, uh, since the calculated value of t is greater than the critical value of t so it falls in the rejection region hence we reject the null hypothesis this is how we will write the decision and how we will write conclusion there are enough evidences to support the alternative hypothesis so we can conclude that the type A bulb is superior than type B bulb. This is how we will write the conclusion. That means the belief of CEO of the company is right. So learners, this was T test for two sample. Hope you would have understood the concept of uh, this T test very well. Uh, I would uh, request you just to share the knowledge. If you find this video lecture worth, never hesitate and subscribe also to get all these types of video lectures um, as soon as they are uploaded to you. So viewers, thank you so much.